We welcome you to the annual Hart Women's Basketball Media Day. I'm your host, Hart correspondent Stephen Davis. We're joined next by Culver Stockton College head coach Jeanette Bergen and Avery Edding. Coach Avery, how's it going today? It's going well. It's a beautiful day on the campus. Coach, introduce us to Avery sitting next to you there and, and tell us what she means to your program. Hey, this kid is an outstanding player. You know, as a incoming freshman last year, um, I don't know how many offers she had on the table, but a fighting tooth and nail to make sure that she was wearing that wildcat blue for us was a, a big uh, to do for us. And it, it paid off for sure. She was freshman of the year last year and she was shooting over 40. I think she was almost about 46 percent from the three point land. And that's uh, as a, a task for the tough conference that we're in is pretty solid for an incoming freshman. So definitely looking forward to the season with her. Avery, as coach said, Hart Freshman of the Year last year. What did it mean to you to get that honor? I came into the season with very open expectations, and being able to achieve that it exceeded my expectations, and I'm very thankful for it. What's the experience been like so far playing at Culver Stockton? Uh, how much have you enjoyed it? I really enjoy competing at the next level. It's a great opportunity for me. Avery, for fans who haven't been to Canton or to the to campus there at Culver Stockton, can you kind of describe the campus and, and the atmosphere up on the hill for us? Uh, it's very hilly, which <laughs> can make conditioning fun for us. And the atmosphere during game day is awesome here. We have a lot of fans that show up, whether it's locals up from the community or other college students too. Coach, you had a successful season last year. You finished fifth in the regular season. You advanced to the Hart Conference Tournament semifinals. What do you hope your team can take from that success last year and build on for this season? You know, I think that's a, a great question in the sense a lot of people think that you should be right at the exact same spot where you ended last year. And I want my team to realize that it's, that season's over and it's a new season. We have some new pieces. Uh, we lost some significant pieces. Um, and so I want them to make sure that they show up every day and work hard. I think should give the best effort and, and realize it's still it's still a grind. You know, so the success. Yes, let's build on it. I would love to see us start exactly where we finish off and continue to grow. Um, but we have some pieces that are out. Uh, we, we're facing some injuries still that uh, are key pieces to our success as well. So if we can get those things um, all put together and continue to work hard and continue to improve our games individually, I think that we'll do just fine, maybe even a little bit better. But um, it comes back to them. If, if they want it, they can go out there and get it. And it, it just shows that what we've been able to accomplish last year, and hopefully we can uh, start on the right foot this year. What are some team goals you have then for your, your group this season? You know, we haven't really discussed them as a team yet. Um, I think, as as always, it's making sure that we're in that top eight. We want to make sure that we're getting to the conference tournament somehow, some way. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're first or eighth, we're getting in somehow. That's a, an, an expectation of our program as well as a goal, and I think the girls would uh, attest to that as well. Um, and that's going to be the biggest one. The The second goal I have for them is what I preach to them every single day in practice is our defense has to create our offense. Um, we are usually a team that's undersized going into most of the games. So we want to make sure that uh, we show a bigger presence in the sense that our defense is creating our offense. Uh, and I'm sure the girls are sick of me saying it every single day in practice multiple times a day. Um, but, you know, that's been the, our success as a program. So that's definitely one of those goals that I have for them. Um, you know, and hopefully within this next week, they have some some bigger goals that we can definitely uh, touch base with and, and put them into work as we get going here in the next couple of weeks. Well, not sure. only are you the head women's basketball coach, you're also the senior women leader of the athletics department. What does that role mean to you? You know, it's been a pleasure being here at Culver Stockton College. The fact that I've been able to do it for so long at, at one school, I think is um, just a, a huge accomplishment for myself, but also the fact that the, the community is amazing. You know, the 
Um, the bigger picture is more than just basketball. The community is awesome. The community on campus is awesome. And ultimately, these young ladies, they make it enjoyable for me. You know, uh, without them, it wouldn't be as much fun. You know, we kind of joke here and there that we always have an open door policy, but I actually had to kick some people out of our office to be able to do something like this. You know, so it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be able to be recognized in that type of role. And hopefully I can carry it and continue to help grow this athletics department, but also within our program as well. Avery coach touched on the fact that uh, you guys play in such a tough conference and it was impressive what you did as a freshman. Talk about the competitiveness of the league and how much you enjoy competing against a, a really talented teams game in and game out in conference. The hard American conference is probably one of the toughest ones like in the AIA and to be able to do what I did last year and hopefully to continue to build on it this year is, Means a lot to me. She needs to pat herself on the back for what she needs to do. You talked about the game day experience and how it was awesome. What's your favorite part of game days with your teammates? Probably showing up early, getting extra shots in with all my teammates, being able to have fun before we have to be awesome. awesome Shooters shoot, don't they, coach? Yes, they do. And I actually told her this weekend. You have to take that shot every single time the ball's in your hand. If there's a space, take it. Well, Coach, we know you've got Avery back this year. Name some other names for us of uh, folks who are going to play key roles for you this season. Absolutely. Having Avery back is a huge asset. Um, Aaliyah Ortiz, our senior point guard, she's um, in her fifth season overall, three with us. We're pretty excited to have her back for one more year, um, as well as – Katie Webb, um, we're working on her every single day. There's so one of those small things of just being able to put the ball in the basket. She has a knack for the that 10, 15 foot area, but now we're trying to make sure that she can get inside and bang a little bit more uh, for us this year. So those two will be nice pieces to have back. Um, we're still waiting for a couple injuries to return. Addison Newbon, uh, she went out with an ACL last year, our seventh game in. Uh, when we played Evangel, um, and we're still wait, waiting for her to get 100%. Uh, so there's there's moments, that are great moments there, but um, still not 100%, still not able to uh, get on the floor with us full time. So hopefully we'll have her by the end of the semester. Um, and, you know, a lot of our, our players are going to be key role kids. So I, I'm anxious to see who's going to step up for us this year. There's probably a good handful, five or six young ladies that, can can do something special for this group, um, but time will tell. So I, I could sit here and name them all, but uh, we're very team oriented. So we need to make sure that uh, we continue to have that mindset and, and hopefully one of them will kind of get themselves to the top and, and join that, that top group with us. Awesome. Coach Avery, thanks so much for the time today. Good luck this year. Thank you so much.